Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. I've got a quick tip for you in Lightroom if you're doing panoramic merges. There are some new or at least relatively new options in the panorama merge tool that I hadn't noticed before. And mainly it's this fill edges option which works to help fill in the blank spaces we get when we do a stitch. You saw the finished product of this photo if you watched in the field earlier this week. Uh, the way these things work, so boundary warp we've had for a while, and as I push this to the right, these edges kind of like, it's kind of, kind of grabs this uh, canvas, almost think of taking a canvas and stretching it around stretcher bars to, to make it fit into the space, and it works pretty well. Uh, you can also try just fill edges, single checkbox, let it try and do its thing, and for a photo that doesn't have too much blank space, the fill edges works pretty well. It does a pretty good job of just using content aware fill to add in extra pixels there. For example, I do that fill edges again. Notice that like some additional trees got added here, but it looks like there's a little bit of an artifact on that on that line there. So, you know, it, it looked around the photo, figured out this was a tree line, added something in there, but didn't quite fully nail it. Well, you can use these together. If I do like portion of a boundary warp, a portion of fill edges. You know, it's it's uh, it's starting to uh, you know blend the two things together. I can start to fiddle around with this a little bit. You can see how it kind of removes the content aware, recalculates it. That one was not as good, but these two things can be used together, and it's worthwhile poking around with those. If you've got a photo that has a lot of blank space around the edges, a lot of that white space, you probably want to look more at the boundary warp that does a cleaner job, because it's really just taking the pixels that are there and redistributing them. But as you get close, you can start to fill in the edges for a little more of a, a cleaner look that's not uh, warping things too far. You know, if you've got a panel where you're doing that boundary warp and your subjects or elements in the panel start to look awkward, play around with the two options because uh, they are complementary. They can be used together. Hope you found the tip useful. Got questions about photography? Drop them in the comments below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.